Welcome back, Earthy people. And if you have a tarot deck or if you have an oracle deck, uh, today's video is going to be perfect for you. So uh, get that tarot deck out and get the oracle deck out and follow along. So um, I'm going to be going off of the Rider Waite Smith uh, tarot deck system. And the only reason why is because that is a system that is widely known um, to be used for a lot of tarot decks. And chances are is that tarot deck that you have or are thinking about is based on that system. System. And that system ha it consists of 78 cards. Um, that's a common theme for uh, the Rider Waite system. And in those 78, you have 56 minor arcana cards and you have 22. Um, major arcana cards and um, in, in some you know talks about the tarot there really are only 21 um, major arcana cards because uh, the full card in the system um, is kind of put in its own little world um, but for me there's 22 so um, if you do have an oracle deck um, with the oracle deck uh, it kind of is a lot different than the tarot system uh, with the tarot system there's always going to be 78 cards um, the look may be different uh, but you'll find that there's a minor and major arcana inside of that system or the um, in those cards versus with an oracle deck there could just be 10 cards or 20 cards and that system is based on the person that has created that uh, particular deck, those symbolisms, the, the colors, the numbers. Um, it, it is a very intuitive uh, method of creating these cards and um, they're kind of created so that way they talk to other people's psyches or subconscious. Um, but right now we're just going to focus in on just the tarot system. Okay, so in order for the tarot system to work for you, um, you need to uh, kind of get to know the major arcana cards. So I know I said that there's 78 cards, but the major arcana cards are the most important in my opinion. And the method that I'm showing you and how I'm teaching you on how to read these tarot cards um, isn't the only way. Um, it just is what works for me. I've been reading tarot cards for 26 um, years um, and uh, it kind of works. So um, hopefully it works for you. So, uh, with the major arcana cards, uh, there are numbers associated with each one of those cards. And zero being the fool, one, one is the magician, two is the high priestess, three is the empress, four is the emperor, five is the hierophant, six is the lovers, seven is the chariot, Eight is strength, nine is the hermit, ten, wheel of fortune, eleven, justice, thirteen, the hangman, fourteen, death, fifteen, temperance, sixteen, the devil, seventeen, the tower, eighteen, the star, 19, the moon, 20, the sun, 21, judgment, and 22, the world. And that consists of the major arcana. And it's super important to learn those cards because the, uh, with those numbers associated with each one of those cards, those will help you read the minor arcana. Um, the best way to look at it, and the easiest way in my opinion, is to look at it as the fool's journey. And that's why it has a zero in my opinion, um, because it's gonna go through each one of those stages of life. Um, and uh, to give you a good metaphor, it's like you want to, uh, we're, we're gonna plant a tree. And let's just say it's an apple tree. And so you start off with just the seed, okay? And so, well, not even that. Let's, let's back it up. You're going to just start off with just the thought of you want to plant an apple tree. Okay? And so that brings us to 
um, number one, which is the magician. The magician has um, all of the elements on the table. Um, it's kind of the the knowing th that that idea. It's swirling around. It, it, you want to make it manifest. So it's just the idea of the apple tree coming to be, um, and then you get to the next part, which is to, you have the high priestess. So now you're debating on, okay, you, it's still an idea. Should I have an apple tree or should I have an orange tree? Hmm. And that's the high priestess. Then you have the empress. You have decided that we're going to go with the apple tree. So now we're like, okay, we have the apple tree. So I have to get the seeds. And now it's time to plant the seeds. We, we're, it's time for it to become. So there's three, the empress. Then you have four. We have the emperor. So we have the foundation. We have to go get the soil for this apple tree. We want it to be a fertile soil. Uh, the foundation needs to be very sturdy. Okay. Then we have five, the hierophant. Uh, maybe there's some hardships. You're on your way to go get that soil, to get the apple tree, and there's traffic. Um, the hierophant is uh, some hardships and some obstacles that may get in the way. Maybe that soil is too expensive to get, okay? Maybe you just don't have it right now. So the hierophant is creating that. And then you have six, the lovers. You know that you are in love with apples. You, you already have this idea that this apple tree is going to be the best apple tree. You just are so in love. You know it's going to be. Then you have seven. Seven is the chariot. You're on your way. It's going to become an apple tree. I'm got, I've got the seeds in my hand. I'm on my way to go and plant these seeds. So we're on this journey. And then we get to eight. Eight is strength. So now we have to dig a hole. We have to make sure that the, the apple seeds are planted correctly. We're moving things around. We're making sure that the, the water is getting done. And now it's a lot um, of stuff to have to put together. Um, so you have to have the strength, the patience for that. And that leads me to nine. Nine is the hermit, okay? Here we are, we're doing this all by ourselves. Um, it's a lot of work and now you're just waiting. You're wondering, are these seeds going to sprout? Uh, thoughts are entering your head and you're wondering like, okay, um, I don't see anything. Maybe these are duds, you know? Um, I've planted it for a while now. Um, it's getting kind of lonely out here. Where's my tree? I want it now. Where's the delicious apples that I envisioned? Um, it's not coming to be. And then we reach 10, the Wheel of Fortune. Now you see the sprouts, you see it growing, you see your hard work coming to fruition, and you know for a fact that now that apple tree is coming to be, um, that you know that that apple tree is growing, and, and you're just very fortunate that all your hard work is coming to life. Okay? So and that's just a few examples of how the major arc arcana can really benefit on explaining each one of those numbers. Now, in the minor arcana, there are numbers attached to those. So uh, let's start off with the aces, for instance, and we're just going to take the ace of pentacles, okay? Um, with the ace of pentacles, that relates to the magician, okay? The beginning. So pentacles usually means very earthy, very uh, money, uh, stability. Um, and of course, with the magician, ace being with the magician, that is the beginnings of money, um, the beginnings of stability, the beginnings of possibly a career. Okay. And let's just say we have the two of pentacles, which relates to the high priestess. So now we're trying to balance the money balance the career, one or the other. So just remember that journey of like the apple seed and the apple tree. We're, the, the, we're, we're wondering about the orange or the apple tree. Same thing with the two of pentacles. Wondering between this job or that job. Uh, this amount of money or this amount of money. Um, so some balancing going on. Three being the Empress. Now we have the Three of Pentacles that relates to the Empress. So now we know that you have that career. It's becoming, it's, it's within fruition. You have um, something new being born. It's, it's definitely being part of your life. Um, you have money flowing in there. So there's news. So that's just to give you some examples. Now a bit of advice. Um, when it comes to reading your cards, hair is something super important. Okay, are you listening? Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. Trust what you're receiving, okay? 
and maybe you just don't uh, believe in um, the divine or maybe you just don't believe in, you know, angels and spirit guides. Trust in yourself. Trust in that energy. Um, maybe you are very scientific, the subconscious, you know, the conscious mind and how um, it helps uh, with your shuffling or you're getting the card that you need to see based upon that. Um, and if you're like me, where you do believe in the divine, that you do know that that energy is coming down and you're receiving it and it's helping you read these cards, um, helping you relay that information to your higher self from the angels, the spirit guides. Um, you're receiving and becoming that channel you have to trust yourself if you cannot trust yourself you cannot read the tarot system in my opinion um, and the reason why is because you are stuck in the high priestess mode one or the other the balancing um, you're not balancing everything correctly so you're questioning yourself and when you question yourself you question the information that you're receiving and in my opinion you cannot read the tarot system um, accurately um, when you start to question yourself so you must trust yourself trust your intuition trust your higher self trust in the divine trust in the angels um, and you'll be able to read the system or any system for that matter and not just the tarot system maybe it's the oracle system you'll be able to do that as well but super important that trust is involved in that okay that belief that blind faith as well that blind faith that helps you close your eyes you breathe and then you look at the card and then you see what's coming to you. What are the colors bring? How, do, how are the colors of that card um, telling you, you know? Looking at that number, does it flash back a certain memory? Are you, are you smelling something at the moment that you're looking at that card, okay? What are you receiving? And maybe it's just jolts, maybe it's just little things here or there. Write them down, start there, make a journal. Super important, if you make that journal and you go back to it, maybe it may, may not make sense now. Um, even when I'm reading for clients, I always tell them like, hey, it may not make sense now, but write it down, record it, and it may make sense later. But it's super important that whatever information that you're receiving, you either write it down, record it, or try to remember it because it, it could play a huge role on something that's happening in the future or something in your past and maybe you just don't remember. So super important with the tarot system, Remember, trust, get the information, write it down, record it, and go from there. And a super, super important thing that I do want to tackle is if you are still on the fence on getting a tarot system or an oracle deck because of the rumors or that, oh my gosh, don't get a tarot card because it's going to open up a portal and demons are going to pop out and you're going to get possessed and you're just, you're playing with something dark. Let me dispel all of that. Like I said, I've been reading tarot cards for 26 years. I'm not possessed. I've not done anything evil, nor have I wanted to do anything evil. Um, it's just... Um, a system that you can work with. It's a tool in the trade to help better life, help better your path, help get those messages from the divine, help you move on through your journey. Um, and if anyone tells you otherwise, it might be time to uh, check out your circle and you might want to uh, edit some things in your circle of friends or family members for that matter. Um, but uh, I highly recommend that you try out the tarot system. Like I said, I have, um, I myself use the Rider Waite Smith uh, tarot system um, and I also use Oracle cards as well. Um, with my Oracle cards, I use the energy deck um, and I really love it. Um, there's also my Alice in Wonderland um, Oracle deck. Um, um, and it has served me quite well. So if you found this video super uh, great or you liked it, uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribing helps me out. And just in case you, um, you know, are about to get a tarot system or you already have a tarot system and maybe you don't know how to cleanse, don't stop there, you know. Uh, you might want to check out this video right here. And this video is going to show you how to cleanse yourself uh, spiritually and physically. So that way uh, the messages can come out clear. So if you're, you think you're going to have some trouble reading, um, I recommend taking a look at this video.